okay I'm working on the rust on the metal part the cast iron part of my my uh, singer treadle what I'm using is this right here it's called navel jelly rust dissolver I had seen something else online but I haven't been able to find it locally so I, what I'm doing is working with this to see how it does and I have half of it coated the left side front and back coated with this stuff and I used the brush and brushed it on then I'm gonna wait five minutes and I'm supposed to spray it with water so I just wanted you to see what it's looking right like right now and I'll let you see it later Well, that's what the directions say. Water it and then wipe it. Wait five minutes. So, that's what I'm going to do. And reapply if necessary. Okay, that's half with one coat. Might need slightly. I'm sure it's going to take another coat. And I really think this would have been much easier to do if I'd have done it, taking the thing apart. I wanted to try this job myself. It would have been a better job for Bobby to do. <laughs> but I'm trying it out. It's going to take a lot more rags. Well, I used about half a bottle, and I really dirtied up these rags, as you can see. So, um, definitely got the rust off. I would say I probably do, I don't know if I need to put another coat on it, or what looks like to me in some places it's taken it down completely to the metal so I'd say yes it did get rid of a lot of rust there's still some places that could maybe use a double dose. I don't know. I was expecting it to really blacken up. And uh, at least a lot of the rust is gone. But I kind of think it's still going to need painting to be, to look like I want it to look. I think it's going to need to be painted. And I also would recommend taking the top off take it apart it would be a lot easier to do 
well this is what I have so far with my project here's my sewing machine now finished up we did the ended up doing the top too but I'll let you see the bottom the wrought iron my husband ended up finishing the job for me finishing up the paint ended up being a bit more than I could handle so it took some more sanding and he used some other kind of cutter to get all the old paint off of it off that wrought iron and then he sprayed it with a high gloss enamel took it apart and uh, did that outside so it turned out real nice and while he was at it he went ahead and refinished the woodwork on the top of the machine too and I have it in front of a window now hope it's not too bright that you can't see the woodwork on it Seems like it's awful bright, but I, I don't think I'd be able to do this at night. But I will bring it in a little closer. The top might be a little hard to see, but you could see the drawers pretty good, I think. And I can bring it in close on the woodwork. This machine we're quite sure that this part right here had been rebuilt or relaminated and it didn't match good at all with the the other part of the machine this top the main part of the machine so we had to go ahead and uh, redo it and see you can see how it doesn't even the grain doesn't even go in the same direction it's going this way and then this part goes this way so <clears throat> he ended up putting uh, I think it was called oh I forgot but anyway it was the darkest stain you can get it may have just been called black I'm not sure but anyway that's what he put on it and I think it's a very good match and we did have a couple kachings here and there in it, and that doesn't worry me. I just wanted it smoothed out a little bit, and he did smooth it out right here. So if I was sewing on something, it wouldn't snag a piece of fabric. You know, so he did smooth that down. Of course, this, this right here does fold down. that's it that's the final product and I think it turned out just absolutely beautiful this is my red eye and I put the hand crank on it 
and I guess I'll get around to doing a demo on it one day too. Now that is a reproductive hand crank, but it works. It sews perfect. So there it is. I just wanted to show it off a little bit. Thanks for watching my videos, guys. Happy sewing.